Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to Self Care Differently, your channel for homemade skincare and homemade cosmetics. Today, we're making a hydrating miracle for your skin a hyaluronic acid serum. This wonder serum will not only keep your skin plump, hydrated, and radiant, but it also helps reduce the appearance of fine lines. Uh, plus, making this serum at home is much more cheaper than buying those pricey store-bought versions. So if you're looking to save some money and want to pamper your skin with your own homemade serum, keep watching until the end. So to make the serum, you will need distilled water. This is the base of our serum. You Next, you will need a propandial, a natural humectant. Uh, propandial draws moisture into the skin, making the hyaluronic acid even more effective. And next ingredient we will be using is rose water. This is my favorite hydrosol for skin not just for its lovely scent but also rose water is a natural um, anti-inflammatory helping to calm irritation and reduce redness and also it's suitable for all skin type ingredients in this serum is hyaluronic acid uh, the, the hero of hydration is hyaluronic acid can hold up to one times and times its weight in water plumping your skin up and reducing the appearance of fine lines make this serum more hydrating i've used pantalol also known as vitamin b5 because it's a great uh, moisturizer so in a beaker add all your uh, liquid ingredients together then add your hyaluronic acid powder and mix everything well cover your beaker and let it sit overnight to ensure that the hyaluronic acid will dissolve completely into the water. And this is how it looks like the day after the hyaluronic acid has completely and fully dissolved in water. This, uh, this serum is very gentle and light on your skin. It's very lightweight and, and it won't uh, let your skin feel sticky. And now it's time to add the preservative to ensure that your serum stays fresh and effective. So add your preservative and mix well to distribute the, the preservative uh, evenly throughout the serum. Uh, I've used the Lucidal, but you can choose any other preservative you prefer. Your hyaluronic acid is serum is almost done because you still have to do last one, just last one thing to make sure that your hyaluronic acid, homemade hyaluronic acid is effective, which is the pH. Checking the pH of homemade cosmetic is very important because the pH is very important in skincare because it, this is what makes a product effective. This is a very important step uh, in homemade cosmetics and you should never uh, skip it or neglect it. So as I showed you earlier, the pH was a little bit low. It was lower than, uh, a bit lower than 4.5. And in skincare, you know, the pH of our skincare should always be between uh, 4.5 and 5.5, which is our natural skin pH. So to increase the pH uh, a little bit, I'm adding a few drops of a solution made by mixing uh, 10 grams of 10% of vegan soda, sorry, uh, and 90% of distilled water. So I'm checking the pH again, and the pH was of about 5 and 5.5, which is great. And here you are, you've just made your own hyaluronic acid serum at home by yourself and you only have to transfer it to a clean container. I've chosen this little barrel but it was too small so I had to use another one to, to fill up all my serum. So for best and for best results, apply your DIY hyaluronic acid serum to clean damp skin every morning and night and follow up with your favorite moisturizer to lack in dehydration.
So we got to the end of the video. I really truly hope that you enjoyed today's recipe for this hyaluronic acid serum at home. So I'm loving, I'm loving to hear uh, if you are going to give it a try and if you have any questions or just want to share your thoughts on the results, please tap comment below in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to me and I am so grateful for each and every one of you. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more handmade cosmetics and skincare recipes. So until next time, bye.